you're on Queen of the South. Yes. I want to know, did you binge watch Reina del Sur before this? What's going on, man? I did. I did binge watch uh, La Reina del Sur uh, for about 60 episodes. <laughs> there are so many, huh? No, so many. And then I binge watched, obviously, the first season, which I was not in, of our show on USA Network. Um, and both uh, on their own rights are wonderful shows, uh, wonderful productions. Uh, and I, I just jumped on with my whole heart and, and gave my best to season two. And now season three, we're almost over uh, shooting. Uh, we'll be done in about, uh, by June 8th, we'll be done. And the first episode will air on, on the USA Network on June 21st. Yancy, tell me a little bit of the differences because I feel like, um, uh, you know, Hispanic audience, como tenemos la reina del sur, we think, okay, what's different from Queen of the South? What do you tell your audience? Well, it's American made. You know, it's, it's not that's not made uh, through, uh, you know, uh, Mexican producers. This is done with, you know, American producers um, with a Latino cast and a Latino producers. Um, so the only real difference is that we do mostly in English and we spend a lot more money per episode we're making like mini movies um, per episode so it's not really like a television show it's more like a film every episode um, and it's definitely we're, we're we're creating a, a slightly different world from the book and from that TV show so that we have our own identity you know so it's a it's it's, it's a fantastic show it has you know different ingredients from the book different ingredients that are inspired the, 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 the La Reina del Sur and in, in their own right, we are our own kind of show, and uh, and that's why it's a it's such a fantastic project. Um, I think that you know a, a lot of care has been taken to making sure that this thing is uh, just off the off the chain, off the off the map in the way that people really love to get to get into the characters, get into the stories, and escape escape every Thursday nights this summer. <laughs> well, we'll be sure to tune into that season. Let's talk about today's event. How did you get involved with this foundation? So George Lopez uh, is an old friend uh, for many years. And when he started it, and back back when I, you know, I was very happy to, you know, to come on board and and uh, you know do my best to to support whenever I was available. So I mean, you know, and, and I play golf, and uh, he's a great golfer. I'm not as good as him. I was about know. to ask, are you going to win tomorrow? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think so. I, I'm just going to have a good time. <laughs> you know, he's like a three. I'm a 13. You know, so it's like it's a it's a big difference. Like the guy does a lot of pars and birdies. I do a like pars and bogeys. <laughs> Click to see more from Muse TV.